resources are our main need during the game, we need them to upgrade buildings, train troops, research, and create war books. And the best way to get more resources is to create a farm account. Someone once asked me how to create a farm account, so I'll explain a few things I think is necessary, because it's possible that this video will be seen by beginners, so the goal is so that they don't get confused. So especially for beginners. After creating a main account you can create another account for a farm account that will help meet your main account needs. But before that don't forget to bind the existing account so it doesn't disappear. You can use Facebook, Gmail, and Twitter accounts, or create a King's Group account. And after bind the main account then you can start a new game for the new castle. Then you just choose the same kingdom as your main account. After that before switching accounts don't forget to bind the account. And I recommend using Gmail, and you can create as many as you want if you have time to take care of them. Then for starters you can play it like the main account. But remember the goal is the resource. So there is no need to level up the castle too high. Because it will only waste resources. Then to collect resources there are two most important things. The first is the catacombs. I've given a tip in another video to get this done quickly. The most important thing is to get to the 8th floor to unlock blue resources which can then be exchanged for ancient coins. This is very important because the amount is twice the green one. For wood, the green one is only 4.5 million. While the blue one is 9 million. While the number of ancient coins used is the same. So with the same coin we will get twice as much resources. And this is the total resources of a month or 30 days from the catacombs for the blue ones. And it's best to focus on the blue ones and don't need to buy the green ones unless the coins are really in excess. Then we can buy what we really need. For the green ones I usually buy wood or food. Because the ratio of the amount is much greater than iron and silver. Then don't forget to buy guard weapon materials. It uses different coins. So it's better than wasted, this will also be useful to get resources later. For the expedition shop, there are no resources to buy. But materials and speed up can be useful to get more resources. So it's better to use coins and expedition badges than to waste them. Later I will tell you how to get more resources using all these materials and speed. Next for mining loot, you can pay attention to what materials I bought. All this will be useful for additional resources. And then most importantly buying resources. So this is the second important thing, after the catacombs. If you don't have much time you can focus on these two things. Buy resources in the catacombs and mining loot. Now let's calculate the total resources that can be obtained from mining loot. For iron 1 million a day and a month so 30 million. Silver 250,000 a day and a month a total of 7,500,000. Wood and food each 2,500,000 a day a total of 7,500,000 a month. And the total resources that are definitely generated by a farm account in a month only from catacombs and mining loot are Wood, 345 million Food, 210 million Iron, 55 million Silver, 14 million And this is the minimum amount of one farm account And it only takes 5 to 10 minutes to log in and do it what takes a long time is when you start building it. But I can usually finish building a farm account in about a month and a maximum of two months to complete the catacombs, and it takes about one hour every day including building the castle. The purpose of building the castle is just so I can collect crystals in the spirit mine at a slightly higher level. Level 29 is enough. And the important thing is that there are lots of empty places so it's safe from other players attacks. Next to get more resources many things can be done. I'm going to explain a few things. First can collect the resources that are in the castle. 
In order to produce more resources then try to increase the maximum equal to the level of the castle. After that from the munition exchange. And I suggest to exchange for wood. Furthermore, all the resources that have been collected can be exchanged at the market stall. One of the important goals is this way the resources will move to inventory. So it will be safe and cannot be looted by the enemy. Here you can only use wood, food, and gold to exchange. So the other goal is to get more silver or iron if you need it. But usually I use all the open wood and food in exchange for whatever resources I find in the market stall. I very rarely gather hing tiles. Only once a day to complete the daily quest for the main account, and for the farm account only in the alliance mine, and occasionally if I have a lot of free time then I will collect wood, then use it at the market stall. And for gathering in the alliance mine, I have a tip. Look at this, now the number is 5 million. Before calling back, first replace some equipment with one that can increase the troop load. Look now the number is almost 7 million. Where previously only 5 million. So only need to do this on call back. And remember never to leave an account other than using war equipment. And I also do this with farm account. Because someone often hit my castle unexpectedly. So I don't want him to win too easily even on a farm account. Furthermore, we can get resources from various events. There are countless events that provide resource rewards. Some examples from Darkland events. And if you have more Cursed Essence, you can use it to buy materials. You can also get additional resources from the Alliance Crunch event. You only need a few points to claim the rewards, and you can choose from some easy challenges, such as gathering resources, donating to alliances, exchanging market stalls or using up some gold. Then, you can see the ongoing events here. There are several tasks that provide resource rewards. So this is what the materials we collected earlier are for, to perform tasks and generate more resources. Many upgrade tasks are available and change daily. You can do it on farm account if the reward is resource. Because that's the main purpose of the farm account. So don't forget to check every day, and do whatever you can to upgrade and get those resource rewards. I can't explain them one by one now. But there are some tips for how to upgrade on a farm account that I know. And maybe I will discuss it in another video. And for now my most important advice is don't waste the opportunity to get more resources by upgrading during events like this. And in my opinion this does not take much time and can be done at night when there is free time. The time is much shorter than collecting tiles because you have to find them first. And the last information to get more resources is to use gold. And it is best to buy from the store. Because if you buy from the store the resources will be stored in the inventory. Pay attention to the price, this is the normal price. So if you see a discount at a market stall like this. Don't miss the chance. Because the price is much cheaper. You can also buy resources using gold like this. But this will be an open resource and can be looted. So risky unless you want to use it right away. Hope it is useful, don't forget to subscribe for those who haven't, thank you for watching, see you.